it's Marie here. Welcome back. So nice to see you here today. I'm today with my amazing sister Soki again. And a little bit of an intro for today's workout. We are focusing on our leg muscles, but usually the leg intensive workouts make your muscles very bulky and big because of all of the repetitions and all of the like squats. But often we don't want that for ballet, especially because we want to work on lean and toned legs on the lines rather than the strength and bulkiness. So that's what we are going to focus on today. We are doing 16 exercises. The workout is going to be about 18 minutes long. We are doing one minute active interval and 10 seconds rest. And these exercises are going to focus more on the lines and on the tonus of your leg muscles. So you can check the info box below to see the exercises that we are going to do today. And hopefully you guys enjoy working out with us today. So without the further ado, I'm going to get my timer started. And in 20 seconds, we are going to begin with our ballet legs workout. So we are going to start with plie pulses. So it's going to be a turned out squat. In 10 seconds, just pulse in a squat position. I think that this is very important for the knee muscles and we still want to work a little bit on our thighs. So let's just start. And just pull slightly. Make sure you're turned out here. So like this, keep your back straight. Don't do this. Yeah, I often find myself doing Pulse and pulse very lightly. Don't push too hard on your legs. Engage more the butt muscles rather than the thigh muscles. Shoulders down, long necks. This is quite warm up. Yeah. Okay, so 15 seconds left already, guys. Keep going. So really focus on engaging the butt muscles rather than the thighs. Three, two, one, and rest for 10 seconds. The next thing is the plie pulses on dummy points. So in this position, go up to releve to dummy point, and let's pulse in this position. You can grab the arms in the third position for more of a challenge. This will make your posture even nicer. So very, very light pulses. This is also good for balance. So halfway through this, keep pulsing nice and light on your legs. And don't forget to breathe. 20 seconds. Yes, this is a very good advice, Sonia. Seven seconds. My legs are shaking a little bit, but this is very nice. Okay, almost done. We are done with this. Go ahead and lie down on the floor on your left side. We're going to do the side developé, so side leg, I don't know how to call it, but in belly it's called développé. So lift your other leg, your left leg off of the floor, développé, and then go back with the straight leg and with the flexed foot. And try to keep both hands off of the floor and really focus on lengthening the leg every time you go down. and stretch your knee so both legs are really working here we are targeting the inside thigh inside of the thighs yeah and also turn out your legs guys okay we are done switch the sides for the next exercise Five, four, three, two, one. Go up. 
This side is so much harder for me to balance on, especially with lifting the leg up. So lift it up if you can. If you want, you can help yourself with one arm on the floor, with the left arm in this case. But otherwise, let's just try staying where we are and balancing and lengthening the legs. Really stretching the knees, engaging our core as well here. So actually this is a stability exercise as well, which is very important for ballet and any type of dance. And of course, with our everyday lives. So five seconds, guys. And we are done with this. The next exercise is plank taps. So go ahead and get into the plank, starting on the right leg side and back. And step side and lift to the back. Bend your elbows a little bit. Look in front of you onto your mat and squeeze the muscles. Try not to wobble with your thighs and your body. Only the leg is working here. Yes, lift out of your shoulders. So we are halfway through this. Keep breathing. Keep holding your core nice and tight. Engage your butt muscles on both of your legs, on the standing leg and the working leg. Side and to the back. And side. Very nice, guys. 10 seconds. Don't sink down with your hips or go way up. Okay, done. We are repeating this on the other leg. Okay, three, two, one, and let's start. So I just adjusted the sound of my timer for you guys to hear it a little bit better when we are finished with the exercise. And side and to the back. And side tap and squeeze the butt. Halfway through. I'm feeling this in my arms as well. Okay, keep pushing guys, keep going. We're going to have beautiful legs after this workout. 15 seconds. Stretch your knees. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. And we are done. Okay, shake your arms a little bit. The next exercise is lunge to pike. So go ahead and lunge on your right leg and pike and lunge. So this is a good exercise for stretching as well. So in every position, stretch a little bit, stretch your hamstring. And your hip mobility, this is good for hips flexibility. Twenty seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Stand up quickly. We are staying on that same right leg, but going from a pike position to a standing split. So go ahead and lift the leg down and lift, squeeze and down. Lift it up, squeeze it down. You can turn out your leg at the top if you want to. And again, stretch at the top, stretch at the bottom and control the motion. 
You don't want to just swing the leg, okay? You want to control it with your muscles. So squeeze at the top. Okay, 15 seconds. Okay, in 10 seconds, we are repeating the same sequence of two exercises on the left leg. So go ahead and go into that lunge. Up and lunge. Hike and lunge. Up and down. And up and down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're preparing to jump into the water like Yeah. Oh no. You are doing great guys. Keep going. And up and down. Five seconds. Okay, great. Relax and hike into a standing split is next. And lift it up and go down. And squeeze it and lower carefully. So point your toes when you're lifting the leg. Twenty seconds. Nice and controlled. You're doing great. So strong. And also, if you can't get to a full standing split for this exercise, feel free to grab a chair to hold onto it. So stretch your butt muscles very quickly. We are going into an arabesque split next. So standing on your right leg, go ahead, arabesque and down. So arabesque is a move from ballet. It basically means lifting the leg to the back. So we can even do the belly arms, which right arm goes front and left arm goes side. And this is the belly position for the first arabesque. So keep your back straight, lift to your maximum degree. You can also hold on to something during this exercise as well for the balance. Otherwise, just try to stay straight and squeeze it. Again, go back with control. Go down, I mean. Leg goes down slowly. And five seconds left. Okay, nice guys. So on that same leg, now bend it a little bit and we're going to do attitude lifts now. So start with the bent leg on the coup de pied position. Don't put it down on the floor. Try not to. At Vaganova Academy, yeah, right. I still remember my suffering. Yeah, the butt muscles are on fire. Right. So it is also hard to keep your balance here. So the whole body is working. That's why I love 
this type of exercises. Okay, keep going guys, a little left, 10 seconds. Okay, very nice. Now repeating that same thing of arabesque and attitude on the other leg. So, up and down and up and down. Okay, this is burning because we already did the exercises on the other leg and the right leg was the standing leg. So it, is, it was working as well. And now it is a working leg. So it's a little bit tougher on the side, but this is actually wonderful. It means we are going to, if we are going to push through it, we are going to be so strong. And it's this feeling of accomplishment after a workout, after a hard workout, especially. The feeling of adrenaline. This, you know, fitness euphoria, workout euphoria. So keep your back straight, shoulders down, and just lift. Okay, done with the arabesques. Now for the attitudes. Okay. Go ahead and get started. So you can do any arms for this exercise. We are just doing the ballet third position. Keep breathing. I'm feeling this a lot in my left leg right now. Actually even more than in the right leg for some reason because it's holding my whole body. Feel free to make a little break during these exercises because these are long intervals. If you're feeling too tired, just give yourself a quick one or two seconds break and go ahead and continue. We are done with this. And now the two last exercises that are left are the front leg plies. So go ahead, put the left leg in front of you and plie on it. So bend the knee. Squeeze the butt every time. Ooh, feeling the burn. Okay. Okay, keep going. If you want, shake your front leg very quickly. Okay, I'm going to shake my leg very quickly. Okay, and let's continue right in. So, seven seconds. This is a burner. But anyway, only the last exercise is left on the other side, the same thing. <laughs> okay. And start it up. It's especially difficult to hold the leg in front of yourself. But... Yes, if you want to. Definitely. And as you have just seen, it's totally okay to give yourself the quickest break and just continue right into it. But just don't give up, don't stop. Okay, 20 seconds. Keep pushing, Woo! the balance. Ten seconds now. Five, four, three, two, one, and 
we are done. Okay, this was honestly harder than I thought it would be, but it means that if you keep doing this routine, it's going to make you strong and we're going to keep doing it as well, I think, <laughs> on like a daily basis for a few next days. And I think it's going to really help us. So, I don't know, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you thought. As always, very, very, very nice to hear from, hear back from you guys. We love you very, very much. And subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it, if you enjoyed working out with us. And we will see you in the next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>